And S here, willing to talk to us. This is what we're going to do next. Jill Scott is here taking in the game that you've seen so far. Recently re retired. We're going to get stuck into that in just a second. We've got nowhere near enough time to go through your unbelievably stellar career that we've seen. Just give us a, a, a taste of why you're here today and what's happening in the next few hours here at the Stadium Light. No, so I was up home and Sunderland asked us to come along to the game. Obviously, a team that I've supported all my life. I remember Michael running up that uh, <laughs> left wing. My seat in the southeast corner, so it's great to be here. Um, and obviously the women's game's on straight after this game. So a full day of football, who could say no? Absolutely. And what you've seen today from the first game, um, obviously there's so much chat around the managerial position, but what you've seen so far from Sunderland this season, have you been happy? I really liked Sunderland um, today as well, obviously being here and watching them live. Mm. I think they really looked like they were getting stuck in the attitude of the players and I think that's what the fans want. So, yeah, obviously... It's disappointing not to get the result, but definitely something to build on when you've got that attitude. I'm talking about building on and that type of attitude. I mean, they were the absolute cornerstone of what we saw in the summer. Are we still on cloud nine with that? Yeah, I don't think I'll ever come <laughs> down. I keep saying that. I feel like I'm having an out-of-body experience, something that you've wanted all your life and then you get it. Um, I think if I'm ever having a bad day, I'll just look at that medal. So I should be smiling the rest of my life, maybe. Well, you mentioned Mickey and what you did watching him, but watching Jill as well oh. play and the effect that they've had over the course of all of football has been phenomenal to see, hasn't it's it? It's incredible. And I think the journey that you've all been on as well, Gina, you know, it started well, you were younger and now, you know, you've left your, your, your footsteps or your platform for the next generation to move on after you as well, which is absolutely incredible. And, and even the game here, that's, that's following Sunderland Norwich. It's incredible how how much women's football has moved on. Yeah, I think to play at the Stadium of Light uh, when I was playing for Sunderland Women, that would have only been a dream. I used to watch you on a Saturday and then that would motivate me for a mm. Sunday, but to think now there's going to be a game here, it's fantastic what the club's doing. Is that the key thing there? We're talking about the double header here today, it's Sunderland Women against Birmingham Women, coming off the back, as Mickey says, of Sunderland against Norwich. Is it key that, I mean, the surroundings are the same, it's that feel of it being the same thing, one kind of club, just with different arms to it. Is that key why it's here today, Joe? Yeah, definitely. I was fortunate enough to be at Manchester City for seven, eight years, and we mm. really had that one team, same passion. Um, and I think, yeah, most loads of teams need to kind of jump on that. Um, as you say, just, I remember walking out with Old Trafford for the first game and thinking, wow, as if the men play in front of this like three <laughs> times a week. So I just think it's brilliant. And everything's a process, obviously. We're not saying that it's just going to be there tomorrow. Mm. We know everything in life is a process. So, Absolutely. yeah, it's great that everything's going in the right direction. And also, the big crowds deal. I mean, 89,000 at Wembley for the final. You're going to get a, a witness a taste of that this season in the WSL also. I mean, I think there's games at the Etihad, Old Trafford, I think uh, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium on the first week yeah. I mean it's fantastic isn't it and I think again keep going back to that next generation they're going to come and watch they want to be a part of it they want to be the next superstars yeah and we had uh, Manchester United Manchester City at the Etihad I think it was a couple of seasons ago I think it was about 35,000 then it just felt incredible yeah. to play that derby game there but I don't want that just to be a one-off or three games a season four games a season like why can't we have it more and more because mm. it's so great for the players it's so great and I think it's something that women's football deserves as well just on that I mean uh obviously it, you've inspired the next generation is so so good my mum actually played football um, I was born in Zambia my mum used to play football in Zambia I remember as a kid um, watching her but I think right now I think the inspiration that you're gonna just spread out over the UK um, I think it's an, uh, unbelievable so thank it's, you it's really really nice to see thanks so much so what's the next step then Jill retirement <sighs> is here you've done it in your own way and on your own terms gone out at the absolute top what's next for Jill Scott? yeah I've been really busy to be honest <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a celebrity busier than when you were playing <laughs> I'm a celebrity <laughs> oh, I've actually had to buy a diary for the first time in my life because like you need to be here and you need to be there I was like it was so much easier just going training at half eight so yeah I don't actually know I'm, I'm standing here I actually don't know but just take as much work as possible keep myself busy <laughs> is the advice I've been given but I'm looking forward to it. You sound like Mickey there, taking as much work as possible. <laughs> uh, Jill, it's been wonderful to have you here. We thank you so much for your time and wish you all the best with your future endeavours. And a real taste of having a Lioness and a European Championship here, uh, winner here is the fact that we've still got loads of people stood behind these cameras. Normally, we'd be on our own by now <laughs> chatting about a football match. But you've been wonderful.